him as a great leader, um, an organizer. We know him um, as a husband, a wonderful husband, a romantic, a great father. He's a wonderful grandfather. What do you call uh, your grandfather? Do you call him a grandpa? Pop. I know him as Pop, and it's always Pop. When we were little, we always used to call him the Macaroni Man. I don't know why. <laughs> he's funny. <laughs> I mean, he's just a funny guy. Funny. He does joke, and he does play pranks. It was my birthday in July, and he called, and um, I knew it was Pop, but he said it was Santa Claus, and I thought it was kind of funny because my birthday's in July, and he said he was Santa Claus. He did wonderful things uh, for dates. He would um, unexpectedly just start serenading me. One thing members may not know is that my dad does like to dress up in costume. Uncle Sam. Santa Claus? Well, he Split dressed as Elvis Presley. Godzilla at some point. A teenage mutant ninja turtle. The first time he dressed up as an Easter bunny, he was stopped by the police. And we're all looking around like, where are these sirens? And here comes this big, bright yellow Easter bunny. He played all games with us, and the one in particular, uh, the dating game. And, and Pop played, and he would get to find a date. <laughs> My sisters used to have this Miss America game. That was a board game and he was always, you know, one of the contestants. He taught us how to ride our bikes. He taught me how to drive. I think he taught all four of us how to drive. He taught us how to fish. Pop taught us how to spit. Whenever we would spend uh, vacations with Pop and Barbara, it was always in one of two places. We would go to the beach or we would go to an AFSCME convention. I don't know when I really understood what AFSCME was because AFSCME has always been there. It was just a part of our lives. I think he treated it like one of his children or his grandchildren. He treated it with that much love and that much respect and that much dedication. Here I have uh, my, as a child, artistic rendering of an AFSCME convention. No matter how big his job became, he was always, always there. He was there for my track meets, my basketball games. I remember falling and him coming out on that ice, walking on that ice, you know, slipping and sliding, picking me up and carrying me back off. After I was diagnosed with breast cancer, one way to turn that into a positive, my dad um, started having uh, breast cancer screening, uh, I think, mobile vans. That is so moving to me that he would do that, and I think those mammograms have saved some lives. I really do. And that's because he's the dad, the pop.